Well, this looked like it was going to be a really interesting uh, fruit trip this year. This is my sixth go around uh, going to Fruita. Been going there since May of 2010. Went twice in 2010 and once every year thereafter. Uh, so this looked like at the beginning was going to be an awesome trip. Had three guys from Kansas City coming along with myself here from Utah, which I just moved here about four months ago. Unfortunately with me, I got a case of Achilles tendonitis around the end of June, which kind of threw my riding off uh, quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, I wasn't been, you know, far as part of this trip for about several months. I didn't really get much riding in here and there and stuff, but nothing, nothing dirt. It was basically all, you know, local pay, you know, pay trail or ride around town here and there. But uh, since most of the single track here is there uh, in the mountains, a lot of that was off limits because of the climbing. The doctor said don't do any excessive climbing, stay off the technical trail. So pretty much rolled out most of the single track <laughs> in Ogden. Uh, so yeah, it was not fun. For sure. Anyways, about a week, about the Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday before the trip, uh, one of the guys that was going with me called, and I guess two of the guys got injured that was coming on the trip, and so they were they were pretty much out of the out of the equation. And the one guy was you know was asking me how my ankle was doing, and to be honest with you, I. Couldn't promise him how I was going to be able to ride and how, I was, you know, how much riding I was going to be able to do. I uh, just haven't ridden a lot of single track since the tendonitis came on. And so basically I said, well, dude, I mean, maybe we'll just try for next year, see how it goes. I just didn't want to see him drive all the way out there and, and just basically me be, being a shuttle bunny and not being able to ride much. And it wouldn't be much fun for him either. So just tell him to trouble try for next year. Uh, but I went ahead and decided to maybe go out there for a couple of days just to get out of town and get out of the apartment. I didn't want to sit and look at the apartment walls for, for a week uh, being off. So I said, what the heck, go down there and just see what I can do.
Hello YouTube, this is Lawson Raider. As you can tell, uh, this is my first real ride since the Achilles tendonitis started acting up. And uh, at the 18 road uh, trails and through to Colorado, I'm currently pilling up a couple miles up the dirt road to get to the top of Kessel Run and I'm gonna make a swing down Kessel Run and uh, see how it goes. Look, pray that everything works right and enjoy my couple days here. And uh, it's gonna be fun, dude. It's gonna be fun. All right. As you can tell, up at the base of the mountain, that's where we gotta go. The little kiosk you see up ahead, that's the halfway point to the uh, grueler here. <laughs> well, it's not much of a grueler, I mean, it's not that huge of a steep climb. It's just long. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's where we gotta go. Alrighty, we made it to the top of the, to the top parking lot, the 18 road trailhead. As you can see, way down there, it's way down there. I'm talking way, way, way down there. Let's see if we can find it. See, up there it is. You can see the, the trailhead, that's the bottom trailhead. Is about, I'm sorry, 1.8, 1.9 miles uh, climb, uh, climb up the road.
guys, we made it down to the bottom of Kessel Run. Uh, found out a few things. One, you can tell I forgot my chest mount. I left it in the hotel room. Dope. Uh, also, I tried to mount on my front fork. Yeah, I tried to get it tight, but as you can tell, it's not going to work out too well. Uh, it looks good on paper, but it, it wobbles all over the place. So I'm going to have to take it off when I get to the truck. Because luckily the camera didn't end up in the spokes. It would not have been a good situation. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so you can see where Mojo's comes off. There's Mojo's right there. That's the bottom of it. It's the new trail they opened up a couple years ago. And there's Kessel on the end of it. And you can see up there, that's where we came from. And this takes you right back to the parking lot. Now this is luxury. Look at that. Got the jacuzzi action in the corner. No way it's going to be jealous. Got the desk. To, yeah, work. Whatever that is. The bed. The TV. This is going to be sweet. All right, it's Lawson Raider again. I'm at the top of the climb on the Rustlers. Uh, stay to the trip. And uh, as you can see, got a nice view of the local, the uh, Mary's Loop uh, trails over there on top of that bluff. I'd love to ride them, but too much climbing. I hate this kind of climbing. Uh, down there at the parking lot, it's kind of hard to see the truck, but I'll zoom in on it. There's the parking lot. And there's my trucky. Way down there. There's Trucky. And there's a guy that lives right down there. He's got a home inside the uh oh sorry, it's over here, sorry. He's got a home 
inside the cliff there. It's pretty cool. Bike shop, winner of the uh, bike shop of the year. Those tricks. 
what happens is when you get lazy and forget to secure your bike. Oh, look at it, it loses the darn thing. Came off the thing. Okay. Oh. Almost. Dog on miracle. Dog on miracle. I didn't lose the bike off the back of the truck. Son of a biscuit. What to do when you're in between mountain biking sessions? Neighborhood talk is cheap when the store. 
I gotta throw something in the video for Lonnie. Lonnie would love this one. Maybe Chris would like it too, I don't know. But I think Lonnie would like this one. Okay, that's what I ride during the day. And that's what I ride during the night. And in the morning. And between meals. And after lunch. And after supper. Sometimes I change the location between this and the trailheads too. So, anyways, yeah. I get to ride that too. Alright, here's the list of gear I use to uh, shoot my videos with. Okay, I got the uh, original Hero. Got the Hero 2. Got a Hero 3 Plus. Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. And a Hero 3 Black. Okay, usually the Hero takes the rear duties. Hero 2 takes the front fork. And the Hero 3 Plus or the 3 does the chest, depending on, just depending on which mode I'm in. And also for a good point and shoot, got the Sony HX, DS, I'm sorry, the Sony DSC HX9V point and shoot camera. Basically all the videos you see on my YouTube channel, the use are what they're filmed with. This is the second day of the trip, last day, uh, go back to Utah tomorrow. Uh, Take a little stroll back out the 18 road to kind of cap off, just do a quick up and down ride. Uh, for some reason today I've had a serious issue of head and butt disease. I uh, locked myself out of my hotel room twice. I was very blessed and lucky not to lose my bike on Interstate 70 today because uh, I was so tired and wore out and from uh, yesterday's ride that I... <laughs> forgot to strap the one side of the bike in so between Loma and Grand Junction where I was going was about I'd say about 12-13 miles uh, anyways made it all the way to Grand Junction I was going down US 50 and noticed my bike was almost dangling almost coming off one side of the rack I mean it was just not that far from going all the way off so I was like crap so I just pulled over and, and realized I didn't strap one strap. Luckily I had the other strap in, so I only half butted at that one, so anyways, I was very blessed I didn't uh, lose my bike on Interstate 70 because it would not have been pretty for the bike or the vehicle behind me. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, I tell you. It just been, just kind of felt kind of raggy today, so it just just kind of wore my butt out yesterday from the uh, ride and then that plus the lack of sleep last night. I didn't sleep really soundly last night, so that didn't help me matter as much either. So, anyways, I'm gonna cap off this short vacation with a trip out to 18 Rotis to ride up and do castles down in it. And I'm gonna come back, eat supper, and go get everything ready for the trip back home tomorrow. All right. Did Castle Run, and I'm back up here again at the top. I did cheat though, I only rode up halfway <laughs> and I roll walked the rest of the way trying to save the legs for the fun stuff, you know. Okay, anyways, there's Castle Runs, but I already did that one. So if you, you can tell people's been riding it when it's wet because there's a lot of ruts. So, you know how it is, typical mountain biking. Can't keep people off the trail when it's muddy. They just, they figure they can make the trip out here, they gotta ride it, so. They damage the trail and makes it mess for everybody else, so it's typical stuff. I think they're used to it here, and I think pretty much anybody has a decent mountain bike trail system is used to it. I mean, it's sad, but unfortunately, it's the reality you gotta deal with. Uh, anyways, my next run's gonna be down PBR. As you see, this is the trail that goes to, it goes to shoots and ladders and also goes to PBR. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing PBR today, so I'll check back in when I get to the top of PBR. Alrighty, well, we're here on top of uh, the PBR trail. It's a little jaunt up chutes and ladders. And, well, the part that shoots and ladders. And there's the hump up to go to shoots and ladders right there. That trail's only gonna be taking it's a PBR. To me, in my opinion, 
Kessel's a good fun trail. I love both of them. I I would prefer PB over over Kessel's, at least as far as the wow and fun factor. That's just my opinion. Some people's opinion may vary, but I do tend to prefer PBR now. <laughs> it's a fun trail. Give it a whirl if you're in the area. Up, oh, good morning. It's Thursday morning, and it is my morning. I go back to Utah. Was going to do Moab, but 
I decided to just go straight home. Uh, I think the money's get kind of tight, so that's one thing bad about these vacations is you tend to spend a little more than you want to. So I figure if I skip more, I, I could save my checking account <laughs> uh, from further ouchie. So, anyways, get ready, clean up, get everything packed up, go get my last free uh, hotel La Quinta breakfast. A waffle and whatever stuff they got in there. Anyways, uh, so yeah, getting ready to pack up the house or the or a hotel. Rock on. You drink twenty ounce coffee? Twenty ounce cup, yeah. Well, what? What are you gonna have heart problems? It's supposed to drink that kind of that much coffee. 20 ounces, though. 20 ounce coffee ain't gonna hurt you. Drink that every day? Just one, one sip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, now in Utah. Oh, Moab. Oh, I wish I could go. I just don't have the money right now. I got uh, some work I gotta do to the truck. That's some work I have to do to the truck. So, yeah, I might have to skip it this time around. But, we'll get there another day. Lord willing. And there it is, 191 South. The Moab. Moab! Yeah. Gosh, it's gonna be nice. You know you want to go south to go to Moab? Well, I do, I want to go to Moab. You know you want to hit the right button, hit the right turn signal, and go to Moab. No, not go to Moab. We'll go some other day, Lord willing. Okay. There she goes. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, wah, wah, wah. All right, well, another day, Moab. Lord willing, another day. We are about 15 miles east of Green River, Utah. About four, uh, I'd say about 35 miles, 30 some miles northwest of Moab, Utah. And now we're down to the last mile. We are down to the last mile. It is fixing to happen, gentlemen. Oh, it's fixing to happen. Get ready. It's coming. The moment we've been waiting for for a long, long time. Oh, great. Now I'm getting a. Oh, not what's going to happen when you're recording is to have a shade come through at the wrong time. Here we go! Yes! Dun dun dun! We have now <coughs> joined the 300,000 mile mark for this truck's life. Some of you need to come to Christ right now. Come to Him right now. If some of you who have fallen away need to come back to Him, come back to Him right now as we close this service, okay? Let's all bow our heads for a word of prayer. Lord, we know You're coming. But You've told us in Scripture You're coming for those who are watching and ready. And I would hope and pray that everyone listening to this message is watching and ready, but I'm sure there are some who are not. But yet, Lord, you love them. And they've heard this message, and now they need to respond. The ball's in their court. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will bring about that work of conviction. Help them to see their need to turn to you and help them to repent of all known sin so they can be certain that they are ready for your return. We ask in Jesus' name. This guy is begging to get killed. Get yeah, others killed. Two, so two feet from a passing lane, the guy gets in the oncoming traffic lane because he's too impatient when you got that passing lane coming up two seconds. Let's move. He's making his move. This guy is going to get somebody killed. Alrighty. On US Highway 6, US Highway 191 North. We are getting ready to go up the eastern section of the Wasatch, Wasatches. We will uh, culminate at Soldier Summit. 
and it's going to be downhill to Spanish Fork and I-15. So we're fixing to start the climb up the eastern part of the Wasatches. And I will uh, shoot the video once we get to Soldier Summit to we get up there. We made it to Soldier Summit at the top of the Wasatch Range. Now after this we're going to be heading down and we'll, we'll culminate at the bottom on the western side in uh, Spanish Fork, Utah, which is right on the uh, southern tip of Provo. But yeah, this is this is it. This we have now summited the Wasatches. Uh, we're about 30 miles east of, uh, I mean, yeah, 30 miles west of Price, where we got gas at. So yeah, it's we're now in the summit. So now it's all downhill from here. This is the. Uh Final video for the Fruto 2014 trip escapade. I am now back in Ogden, Utah. Yep, back in the town. As you can see, there's a lot of traffic. But anyways, I'm heading down here soon. It'll be very much longer. I'll be pulling into the driveway of my domicile. And we'll be concluding the trip. There's the apartment right there. Circus, 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 circus. She got that darn thing out of the way. This is it. Vacation is officially done and over. Shame to give God the glory. All the glory, yes. I've come to give him all the glory. I've come to give God the glory. He has been so good to me. Come on, Zion. Hallelujah. Oh, I came to give God the glory. All the glory. All the glory. All of the glory. The glory. I've come to give God the glory. You know what? Uh -huh. I come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I come to tell you thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been so good to me. So good. So good. So good. He's been so good. So good. Can I tell it all? So good, so good. Woke me up this morning, standing me on my 